Welcome to Up All Night DIY. I'm Monica. Thanks for joining me. Team who reached out to me a couple of weeks ago and asked if they could send me some products to try. I chose pretty much all crafting items. They've also included a discount code that you can use on your first order. I'll list my code as well as a complete list of everything that I received in both a pinned comment and in the description box for you. So let's take a look at the goods and see what's what. Okay, first are these tape lights. I chose these to use as under cabinet lighting in my kitchen. From what I understand, these can be cut to size and then you just attach the little re receiver adapter thingy. Receiver adapter thingy. That's a technical term. <laughs> I'm hoping that these are a better option because we've had several fixtures. I guess from opening and closing the cabinet doors, the filaments and the light bulbs get jacked up or maybe an internal mechanism and they never last very long. Hopefully these are a better option. Take a look. Yeah, I can see. There is the adapter. And then it just looks like this is all the lighting elements. As I said, I'll let you know how this works out once I get them up. Also, I wanted to mention that you're going to hear a lot of background noise because both my husband and son are home at the moment. And I'm doing this during the day where normally I would do it in the middle of the night. Yeah, it's Sunday afternoon, so everybody's home. Looks like there's directions on the back of the box on how to do this. Apparently you can use your iPhone to turn these off and on. There is a Bluetooth option, so that's cool. And a little direction booklet. Yeah, so we'll take a look at this, and like I said, I'll let you know in the future how they work out. So the next thing, and I had forgotten about this, it's a laptop stand. That'll come in handy for sure. It's made of plastic, but it seems relatively sturdy. I mean, sturdy enough. Let's take a look at this. And once I get it together, I'll put my laptop on it and see what's what. These little arms snap into these little divots. So you can choose how much of an incline you want your laptop on. Yeah, I mean, it looks like it's going to be a pretty good portable laptop stand. Not too bad. Let's get the laptop and see. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I think that'll work. This will definitely help with my posture. I always feel like I'm hunched over when I'm working on my laptop. Good stuff. So this is a pair of those miter clippers. This allows you to cut dowels or thin pieces of wood on an angle. I've been wanting a pair of these. Save me running up and down the basement steps when I just need to cut something real quick. These look like they're pretty well made. I'm sure they'll come in handy. Let's see, what's in here? So it turns out in this little baggie is a spare blade, which is really really sharp so that should come in handy if i ever need to replace the blade awesome this looks like ink pads i chose a silver pad and a red pad and i have a couple of packets of glass beads here there's two in each pack these are cute pink and green stripe the other pack is blue and yellow yeah blue and yellow I wanted to check these out because a lot of times I like to incorporate beads into my metal hangers. I like to twist them in with the wire. They're cute. And here are some little wooden mushrooms. Oh, look how cute. They come three in a pack. There's one of these and then there's two pointy ones. Yeah, like more of a toadstool. I'm pretty sure they had additional options for other mushrooms too. I just thought these were cute, so we'll be using them soon. I also got myself some silver foiling flakes. We'll see how we can use these in upcoming projects. But I've, I've never really used it, so I figured might as well give it a try. And these are little stickers called Former Days Objects, a trace of the time series. They're really cute. They're like old advertisements, you know, vintage advertisements and whatnot. Oh, look, a postage stamp. 
and there seems to be two of each so that's cool and there's there's a variety here are some globes this is called sighting trip imprint it says disc engraving series so there's a variety of globes and it looks like there's two or three of each design so that's cool I'm planning on using a lot more ephemera like this in upcoming projects. And because I love these clock faces so much, I got another pack of them. Yeah, I just love these. Very cool. Love this when I saw it. It's like a braided jute, and there are little leaves intertwined in it. It's very organic looking. Let me see if I can get this apart. Had to get the scissors out for this. It's very thick. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm loving that. Very cool. Very earthy. Already thinking of lots of ways to use this. Can you see how the leaves are interwoven into the braiding? Yeah, nice stuff. And we have some glue tape, which is not only good for paper crafting, but also when you're gift wrapping. Good alternative to cello tape. Now this, this is really pretty. This is like the leaves that are intertwined on the jute braiding. Look, look how pretty. Now these leaves are bigger than the stuff that's on the jute, but not by much, but you get a lot of this and it's such a pretty color. Also very organic, soft to the touch, shiny, really satiny, very nice. So if you want any of this stuff that I have, I am gonna put a link that you'll be able to click on which will take you to the site. And all the information for all the products I received will be available in a comment and the description box, as well as a discount code for 30% off. So definitely take advantage of that. Got myself some lace. Always nice to have some lace on hand. I chose some of this thinner stuff and then I did get some thicker. This is the thicker stuff here. The thin stuff's probably about an inch and a half, two inches. The thicker stuff, maybe three and a half inches, something like that. They also have this in a variety of colors. I chose white because I thought it was more versatile. I can always tea stain it or coffee stain it or dye it if I need to. But they did have maybe six or seven colors. So you have your choice. There we go. Very feminine, very pretty. Here we have more lace, this time acetate sticker variety. This is called Cluster of Flowers, and there's several different designs. I believe it's 10 different styles, and they're all very pretty themselves. This is called Balloon Glue. It's like a three-dimensional glue dot, and I always like to have those on hand. Excellent for keeping something stuck without making it permanent. This here is a corner punch. So this just nips off the corner of your paper. Handy for when you want to make a tag or a ticket. You know, something like that. I grabbed a set of these uh, icing tips and it comes with a silicone bag and a coupler. I'll be using mine for when I make faux treats, but they did have a lot of baking items and they had a larger set of um, icing tips too, but I just went with the six. This is a good size silicone bag, reusable. So if you like to make real treats or faux treats, take a look because they do have a variety of items. And I'm pretty sure most stuff is $10 or under. I snagged some of this P7000 glue. I'm hoping it's like E6000, so we'll see what that's about. This is a paper cutter. It has like a swiveling head and a very sharp point. Uh, it's supposed to be really good for cutting out circles and rounded items. It also comes with two extra tips. Looking forward to trying this out. Always wanted to try these self-threading needles. It has like a little latch so when you push your thread through the latch opens up and snags the thread. Hopefully they make threading a needle much easier. We'll see. And here we have a teeny tiny little silicone mold. This is like edging or trims. Kind of looks like you know, rope and chain, that sort of thing. We'll see how that works. I'll probably use hot glue in that. I would think that clay would be too difficult because it's so tiny. They do have a variety of molds too, but just keep in mind that, you know, they might be smaller than you think. I am all about these. These are called from the Age of Steam. They're backing cards. Well, some are paper, 
Summer Vellum. And they have like a steampunk thing going on. Absolutely love. There are 20 pieces in total, 10 designs, 10 paper, 10 vellum. Right up my alley. Each has an architectural wonder on there. Arc de Triomphe, Notre Dame, Eiffel Tower, Leaning Tower of Pisa, and so on. Just lovely. I thought these were really pretty too. They're acetate stickers. This is called Weekend Flower Shop. To me, they kind of look like eucalyptus leaves. I can see me using these in the background on something. And here's another set of background paper. These are called Mechanical Adventure. It's part of the Memory Notebook series. Yeah, these have a steampunk thing too. <laughs> Do you see a theme here? I love these. Hot air balloons, lots of cool steampunk gadgets. So this paper is a really nice quality. It says that it's from original retro material. I'm not sure what that means, but it's got like texture to it. It's really nice. There are 10 different designs and you get three sheets of each. That's a good deal. A lovely parchment envelope. This is like a vintage advertisement collage paper. Let's take a look, see what we have. Interesting. We cherub. Be careful when operating dangerous machinery. Good to know. Here's one of Jesus. I think it's in Spanish. Yeah, some interesting elements on this. This paper's a little thinner, almost like craft paper. Take in the robot one. So you get 10 sheets in this pack. Very retro. Here we have a roll of stickers. It just has random text on it. Oh, and look. They've got like a stamp cutout to them. That's cool. The text is like a purple color, kind of like a mimeograph. I know I just ate it myself there. So it looks like you can use the stickers and then the front part that it's rolled up on. That's kind of like acetate. Well, they're fun. And finally, we have a series of stamps here. So these are like alphabets and, you know, typewriter key type things. And this one is like lined paper and graph paper. That'd be good for journaling. This set has seven different stamps, kind of a floral motif. Here's a honeycomb and some random text and then some filigree items and florals. That's a good variety. Here we have a set of two stamps. These are script, just like random script. And I think these are my favorite. This is a set of eight of postal stamps, which I think is a must for paper crafting. That's everything. I have to say, everything seems to be really good quality. I'm really pleased with the selection that I chose. There's an absolute ton of things on Timu's website, so you're bound to find something that you like. And remember, you'll find a link to everything that I received in my package. And there's also a discount code for 30% off. There's free shipping and free returns in the U.S. There's hundreds of items for under $10. And they have afterpay and secure payment. So go ahead, use that discount code. Get 30% off your crafting goodies. And stop back because I'll definitely be using all of these items in upcoming projects. All pertinent information will be pinned in a comment as well as in the description box. Stay creative, my friends. Thanks for hanging with me. See you next time. Up all night with Monica.